Hello, welcome to the channel Kids Cloud. Hello friends. In the previous video, we learned about vertebrates. That is one part of animal classification. In this video, we will study about invertebrates, their classification and examples. Some distinct features of invertebrates which make them different from vertebrates are as follows. Animals that don't have backbone are called as invertebrates. Over 97% of all species on earth are invertebrates. They have soft bodies because they don't have internal skeleton for support. These all animals are cold blooded. These are diverse animals. Based on habitat and structural differences, invertebrates are classified as annelids, nidarians, mollusca, and orthopods. Examples of animals of each group are shown under respective class. Let's learn this classification with more details. Annelids All segmented worms or ringworms comes under group of annelids. In these animals, body is covered with thin cuticle that is the outer layer of skin. These all animals are characterized by presence of body cavity called as silo and city that is the movable bristles. They are found in all types of habitats such as marine water, fresh water and damp soil. Their length ranges from fraction of inch to more than 3 meters. In these animals, respiration takes place through body surface. Common examples of annelids are earthworm and leeches. Other examples of annelids are lugworm, polychaetes, oligochaetes, tubeworm, etc. Second group of invertebrates is nidarians. Nearly all animals from this group are aquatic. All have tentacles with stinging cells called as nematocyst. They use this nematocyst to capture food. They have two layer body derived from ectoderm and endoderm of embryo. Mesoglia, a jelly-like connecting layer, is present between these two layers. Some nidarians are completely mobile while others are completely sessile. But most have both mobile medusa and sessile polyp stages in their life cycles. Most of these animals are having radial symmetry while others shows bilateral symmetry. Well known examples of netherians are jellyfish and sea animals. Other examples are sea pains, hydra and corals. Next group of invertebrates is mollusca. Molluscas can be found in both habitats, aquatic and terrestrial. They have unsegmented soft body with internal or external shape. Their body has bilateral symmetry and triploblastic. A tooth tongue called as radula is present in all these animals. They have mantle which is a fold in the body wall that lines the shape. Muscular food and or tentacles are present which help them 
in locomotion. They possess a fluid filled cavity called a silo. Respiration occurs through gills called a stenidia. Snail and octopus are common examples of mollusca. Other examples are squids, oysters, and clams. Fourth group of invertebrates is arthropods. The name arthropod actually comes from the Greek arthro meaning joint and pod meaning food. Thus arthropods are joint lake animals. This is diverse group of animals which includes insect, crescentious, spiders, scorpions and centipedes. These animals are triploblastic. Their body is internally and externally segmented and has bilateral symmetry. They produce a hard exoskeleton made up of chitin, a mixture of lipids, carbohydrates and proteins which covers and protects their bodies. Their body cavity is called as hemocyl and filled with white colored blood. Plenty of animals comes under this group arthropods. Examples are spiders and crabs. Other examples are insects, ants, shrimps, millipedes and centipedes. For better understanding, the terms used in this video are explained here. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe to this channel.